Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. You know, recently, um, you know, I was in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, uh, because, you know, we're opening a retail location as well as a warehouse in Nashville uh, that will help us ship quicker and all that good stuff. We're not leaving California. We're going to open a secondary facility in Nashville. But uh, in Nashville, there's a place called the House of Cards. And it's really cool. It's a restaurant. It's downtown, and it's uh, down below the Johnny Cash Museum of all things. And in the restaurant, they have a bunch of magicians. So uh, why am I telling that story? Because here's my magic trick. Voila! I have transformed. Well, should I say we have transformed the Glock store? A plain black Glock 41 into this beautiful gold. Glock 41 that you see before us, custom Glock 41, with red dot optic and co-witnessed suppressor sights. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it really is. I mean, I looked at it and I thought, wow, this is cool. And then I start, you know, kind of manipulating it a little bit, and I thought, this is amazing. There's a couple things that really impressed me right off the bat. First and foremost, uh, of course, the colors and all that stuff, okay? so But when you pick it up, it's like, wow, that's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. And that's because of the apex cut that we have performed on this slide. Now, the apex cut is just one of the styles that we do. But this one in particular takes a lot of the metal, a lot of the weight out of the slide. Like I said, when you pick it up, it's like, wow, it's magic. Hence my magic trick. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty incredible uh, in the fact that it looks good, but there is a functionality to it as well. It makes it a little bit lighter to carry, to manipulate, to shoot, and hence a little bit more fun, okay? So here's what we've got. Uh, we've got the Apex Cut Slide with a gold titanium nitride finish. Polished. All right, so it's shiny. Now, that's why I really have this here, <laughs> is because you know, when you get a fingerprint on it, it does actually, you know, fingerprint up. So I want to polish it up a little bit, and, you know, and then when we actually ship it to the customer, we ship them one of these little micro towels as well, so they can keep it kind of clean, and because every time you touch it, you're going to get some fingerprints on it. However, keep in mind that these uh, uh, serrations, not only do they reduce the uh, weight, but they also are very functional and that you can actually manipulate the slide by grasping hold of them in the frontward position. All right, so Apex Slide, gold titanium nitride, polished factory barrel. Now that's what a lot of people go, that's a factory barrel? Yes, it is. Okay, so your factory black barrel with a little bit of love and attention and a lot of work and blood, sweat and tears and all that other stuff, elbow grease can look like this, okay? And that's what we do. Look how shiny that is. I mean, I'm just mirroring the top there, and as you come down here, and you can see the barrel itself is very shiny. All right? And that is really just a lot of work. But we do it here, and we love to do it here, because, well, that's what we do. Uh, okay, so, polished barrel, polished slide, pyramid trigger, flat face, okay? with the gold and black. So this one would be gold, black, gold. Gold for the actual shoe itself, black for the insert, gold for the safety. All right, so let me go ahead and rack this slide, get it to come out there, and that's what that kind of looks like. So that'd be called gold, black, gold. Pyramid trigger, as you know, is one of our most popular items. It allows you to manipulate the trigger faster with less chance of disturbing the sight picture, which improves your accuracy. All right, so because of that, uh, it's been very popular. But here's what happens. You have a shorter stroke on the beginning. All right, that was it right there. So it's just right there. And a shorter stroke on the reset. Boom, right there. Again, allowing you to manipulate the trigger faster, which will improve your accuracy because you're less likely in that long stroke of the factory trigger to disturb the sight picture. So it's just, it's actually almost like cheating. Uh, this gun, of course, has extended controls on it. And we have done those in gold as well. So this is our gold kit. Extended slide stop lever, which is the slide release. Extended slide lock. Okay, and that's the takedown lever. They get confusing sometimes, and I still mess them up every once in a while. One of my videos, I'll call this the slide stop and call that the slide lock, but in reality, the slide release is the slide stop, slide 
takedown is the slide lock. Okay. Are you confused? Ooh. Okay, this is a Gen 4 gun, so it has our Gen 4 pin kit. Uh, it comes with a longer pin to accept uh, the uh, back straps as well. Okay. Inside is tungsten guide rod, of course. You know, for uh, a big gun like this, you want to have that tungsten guide rod. Uh, the tungsten guide rod, as you know, is heavier than the factory plastic. Because it's heavier and it's a dead weight under the barrel, it helps to reduce recoil. Now again, keep in mind what's happening. Gun shoots, bang, okay, there's some recoil with the actual bang. If there's no slide reciprocating, there's gonna be a little poof, you know, just like, you know, uh, say a rifle, a bolt action rifle. Okay, got it? But because the slide comes flying back, that's what induces a lot of the recoil. Now, okay, let's go back to our apex cut. Because we've taken some of the mass out of the slide, there's less mass coming back. Remember, energy is you know, E equals mc squared. Well, the energy of that moving slide is less because it's lighter in weight. And because we have a dead weight of the tungsten guide rod underneath that's not moving, it helps manage and reduce felt recoil and muzzle jump. It's our best-selling item the tongues and guide rod, whether it's for Gen 3 or Gen 4, Gen 5 guns, that's the thing you really have to do to change and make your gun better. I mean, without, if you don't do anything else, do the tongues and guide rod, okay? All right, and the extended controls and the sights, and we'll go through all that, of course, but that's where you want to start. The other thing, of course, that makes this gun truly special, long barrel, 45 caliber, red dot optic. All right, now listen, if you haven't shot red dot optics, you're missing out because they are better. They're faster. I mean, all the top shooters, anybody who's in the open class, USPSA, all those guys are using red dot optics for a reason. The reason is it's a one point sighting system. You don't have to line anything up with, a, with say your traditional iron sights or front and rear sights. It's just put that dot on the target and squeeze the trigger. And because of that, once you get used to it, because of that, you're able to shoot faster. And more accurately, too. I mean, really, in, in essence, it's, it's that much easier. Now, so uh, this is the Vortex Viper. We have milled the slide. Oops, I'm sorry. No, we did not. Uh, this one is a, a MOS. So this is the factory MOS uh, button. So we actually just went ahead and attached it to one of the MOS plates, which we have also done in the titanium nitride. Now, you can see sometimes right there is that plate. Sometimes we actually will mill the slide, but that's the MOS plate that uh, will accept different sites. So what's really cool about that system, the Glock MOS, Modular Optic System, MOS, uh, they do sell the guns just like that. The plate comes out and they have a series of four different plates. And you pick the plate that will match up to your optic, drop it on, screw it down, and then screw the optic right onto it. And that's what we did here. But what we've also done is we've co-witnessed this thing with the suppressor sights. Now, of course, suppressor sights stand taller than factory. As you can see there, and you just notice how much taller they are than the, the ones you have on your gun. They're, th they're, they're taller for a reason, because if there's a suppressor sitting out here, say a can, and you have standard sights on it, you're not really able to look over that because they start to intersect with the can. So I don't know if you can see that, how that works, but they'll start to, the, the, as the can gets out there, the actual sights will start to hit the can, you know, the way you're looking at it, because the sights are kind of looking down to match up with the barrel. And because of that, so they call it suppressor sights, uh, to, and they developed them really for that first, but then they started to realize that, wow, those suppressor sights can also see through the glass of the red dot optics. So check this out. I will get it set up for you. There is your, let me get something, some light on here. Get, uh, there's my skin. How's that? There you go. So there's your sight picture through the glass. There's the rear sight, there's the front sight. Yes, beautiful, nice job. And so a lot of people say, well, gosh, you know, uh, it's nice to have that because what if the battery goes bad on the red dot optic? Good call. So if the battery goes bad, you have a backup. Okay, that's one good thing. The other thing is that what I like to do is dial this in, dial this red dot in to sit right on top of that front sight. So now I know when I'm looking at the front sight and I see that red dot 
anywhere on top of it, it kind of gives me that warm and fuzzy feeling that I am exactly where I want to be. I've got the gun in the exact spot. It's, it's, it's in the sweet spot up here. I've got it, you know, presented properly. And, you know, I can just shoot at will because I know I'm going to be accurate. Uh, I will also tell you this, though. Some of our top, you know, competition shooters uh, who run a red dot don't like to have co-witness. They say it gets in the way. And, you know, again, it's not a self-defense thing. They're playing a game. They're, they're running around, and they you know, change the battery frequently, and they don't have to worry about it. So, you know, there's two sides of the coin. One is those, those of you out there who are going to say, well, I want to have a backup in case the battery goes bad. That's why it's good to have uh, the iron sights that co-witness and go through the glass. It is a good idea. Boom. For self-defense, all that good stuff, great idea. For competition guys, some of them say, you know what? It just gets in my way. I just want to see the red dot. And I get that, too. I personally like the combination of both. I, I, I like having that red dot kind of sitting around on top of that, red, that front sight out there. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not as good a competition shooter as those guys are. <laughs> the guys who just like the window alone, you know what, that's a different breed. And, and certainly uh, uh, they uh, have the, a good opinion is based upon their skill level. So uh, that said, this gun is pretty amazing. I mean, it is. It really turned out good. I'm super proud of it. Super proud of the way it looks. Uh, you know, this is custom work that we do here. You know, this is dictated by the customer. He called up and said, hey, I want this, 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 and this. And uh, this is his gun. We built it on top there. I believe it is. Uh, no, actually, he bought the gun. Yeah. But it's also a brand new gun. We did the whole thing for him. And uh, it was based upon his uh, specifications. Uh, this whole package is less than $2,000. So these are, are very affordable. Uh, they're uh, certainly... Uh, worthy of your attention because it's so unique but so functional i mean really when you think about it when you start to really shoot this gun that's when you see the difference okay it looks good feels good everything's great but shooting it that's when you say i want one and if you want one all you got to do is give us a call or go on our website and look at a whole bunch of different pictures and come up with some ideas and then give us a call and know exactly what you're looking for of course we've got guys on the phone who can help you build different things, suggest different things to kind of take in different, uh, different directions. But main thing is, you know, what colors do you want? Uh, what style do you want? What style of shooting you're going to do? All those things come into play. And then kind of what's your budget? Because we can always build something to work for you. I mean, you can cut a couple things out here and all of a sudden be under $1,000. So it's all about your custom needs and what you exactly want. And we're here to help you. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. And if you're ever in Southern California, ever in San Diego, you better come by and say hello. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.